Hello all of my lovely, beautiful, and sexy people. This is Vexy Beauty here with another hair review. So today's review is brought to you by Sassina.com. They were a hair company that sent me some cute little clip-ins to review. So um, the ones that I chose, actually let me give you all of the information that they sent for me to share with you guys. Okay, so here's the hair specs. It is the Kinky Curly Clip-In Hair Extensions. It says that the hair color is natural black and I have it in 18 inches. Um, it says that it's gonna be seven pieces with 17 clip attach attachments. So it's gonna be one eight inch wide weft with four clips on the weft. It's gonna be two six inch ones with three clips on the weft. And it's gonna be three four inch ones with two clips on the weft. And it's gonna be one two inch one with one clip on the weft. So um, 17 clips in all on this. As you can see, I did a big chop a few months ago. And so I am um, growing my hair out. And so I was like doing a length check today. And it's grown out, it's grown out pretty well. But I'm definitely giving you a whole bunch of Angela Davis tees, you know, a whole bunch of Kathleen Cleaver. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud hairstyle today. And I'm here for it. And you know I had to add the extra, the extra earrings because I like being extra. Never apologize for your extraness, okay? Nobody asked for your apology. Be extra in all that you do, if that's what you wanna do. All right, you know what I'm saying? So Sassina Hair sent me these clip-ins. Here's the box that it comes in. And you guys know I'm here for some cute packaging. So this is really cute. I'm loving the pink. They send you uh, a nice little, I like when companies send me extras. I, you know, if something is for the free, then it's definitely for me. So I appreciate the extras. So they send you a wide tooth comb and they send you some cute little um, eyelashes, which I'm probably gonna try on my next video. And they also send some extra clip-ins, which I think I dropped somewhere and I'm not going to look for it because no one has the time. So I think I'm just gonna go wash the hair and I'm gonna condition it. I always, when it comes to human hair, make sure to wash away whatever the hair went through before it got to me because you really just don't know. You don't know the storyline of the hair before it got to you, you know what I'm saying? You're just not sure. You're never sure what the hair went through. So when it comes to you, just make sure you're putting in the freshness and the goodness. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to how I'm going to style this yet, but if you want to see how it turns out, just keep watching, okay? All right, y'all, so that's what it's looking like after I have freshly washed it and conditioned it, you guys. I'm gonna be using the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner, as well as the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard Natural Styling Gel. And I think it's more like a soft gel, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to my hair to start pulling out that definition that I'm going for. That's the consistency of that gel. Like I said, it's more of like a softer gel. This is the first time I'm using it. This stuff smells so good, you guys. This is the first time I'm using any of the Kinky Curly Not Today stuff, and it smells amazing, you guys. It's amazing. So I'm going to add a little bit of that gel to the, uh, the clip-ins as well just to get the definition of my hair matching. So those are the clip-ins. That's one of the bundles. And you guys, they sent me two bundles. I'll talk about that later on in the video. So there I am putting it in. I'm just starting from like a little bit up from the bottom of my hair and I'm just gonna work my way up, you guys. Those clip-ins do not go anywhere. And my hair is like a 3B, 3C texture and so sometimes it's a little like softer and silky so I wasn't quite sure. I'm never sure with clip-ins if it's gonna stick and if it's gonna stay, y'all, cause you know we need it to stay, all right? But uh, it didn't move. Those clip-ins were good and they were in and they didn't go anywhere, so that was great. So I'm just showing you here that it doesn't matter how you part your hair. At the back, nobody's gonna see it, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just adding a little bit of my Eco Styler gel at the top because I want that really good hold and definition and Eco Styler gel gives me that. All right, y'all, so if you need to kiss your mirror at any point in this, <laughs> you go ahead and do that. Sometimes you need to make sure that you're seeing everything that you're doing. So if you gotta pull that mirror up to your top lip, y'all, make sure that you're doing it, all right? So that's what I did there. I'm all in the mirror, making sure that it's blending in the way I want it to blend, you guys. So I tried a little differently putting it in. This time when I used clip-ins, I made sure at the top to uh, put the hair in on a diagonal to see if that would give me some of the volume that I was going for on the right side of my head. So we've come to the top of my head, which is obviously the most important part when it comes to blending and clip-ins. So we're gonna get to work, y'all. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to the top of my head, and we're gonna get that definition going. So as you can see, I'm adding a little bit more Eco Styler gel. I'm adding quite a lot, quite generously, to get that curl pattern moving, y'all. So you guys, I'm gonna add a little bit of my favorite edge control, my Eben New York edge control. This stuff is a godsend, you guys. My curl pattern is like super stubborn. It has a mind of its own, and this stuff lays it right on down, y'all. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> so as you can see, it's doing its magic and its work right there. 
So this is the most important part of the clip-in process, you guys. So what you're gonna wanna do is take a small piece of your own hair, and you're gonna take a little piece of the clip-in hair itself, like the strands that it separates into, and you're going to twist it onto itself, as you see that I'm doing there. Just make sure to take your time, go slow, and work in small sections, because if you try to work in big sections, it just won't look as seamless as we want it to look. You know, we're trying to go for a slave look, not a crazy look, okay? We're not trying to look like a crackhead on the top, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so just make sure that you're working in small sections. As you see, I'm just working my way around the top of my head. I'm working very slowly and I'm twisting it around. Now, I found that I can also do this like using a finger coil method as well. Like I take my hair and one like strand of the clip in hair and I do like a finger coil on top. But on this one, I was just like twisting with both hands and it seemed to work for me, you guys. So I'm just gonna let this sit for 10 minutes with my scarf on and we're gonna come back and see what we're working with after that. So it's been 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna take my scarf off and I'm sure it's gonna be flat under there and yep. <laughs> it's definitely flat. So I'm just gonna wanna add a little bit more volume back. So I'm actually gonna take the big tooth comb that they sent me and I'm gonna add some volume by fluffing it out at the top. I'm just gonna comb through it a little bit, try to get that volume going because we're not here for a flat look. This is a curly look, so we definitely wanna add a little bit more volume back to the hair. All right, come on, blendage. Yes. Uh, let me tell y'all how these clip-ins blended right the hell in. Okay, look at this. Look, look at where are my pearls so I can clutch them? Cause I need to clutch my pearls right now. Look at this, y'all. My hair is going through a really dry moment right now. You know, it's a little parched. It's a little in need of water. And so I was not sure, cause the last time I did clip-ins, it just, it wasn't blending and I had to do a lot of work to get it to blend for me. This took me like 10 minutes, y'all. I'm not sure if it's this, um, cause I did try this Kinky Curly Gel for the first time today. So maybe this is the reason why. And then I added a little um, of my Eco Styler Gel as well to get the, um, the hole that I was looking for. Cause this is more of like a soft gel, but Y'all, maybe this gel is what got my hair moisturized and blended in, cause this blended right on in. As I told you before, like this is pretty much my curl pattern. Like as you can see, right here is the shortness. It's the smallness, it's the TWA-ness that I'm going through right now. But my hair is growing, give it a minute, okay, it'll be back. Have you subscribed though? I'm just, you know, have you subscribed? Because I mean, if you haven't, I don't know why you haven't at this point. You're here, you love me, you love this hair, so you might as well just go down and subscribe. And while you're down there, go ahead and click that notifications bell, that little that little bell sign, so you get my videos as soon as I upload them. All right, now back to the hair. Okay, so these clip-ins are really good. So one thing that you need to know though, keep in mind that I think they sent me two bundles. I was trying to figure out if it was one bundle that they sent me or two, like based off of what they give you when you order one bundle as a customer on their website. And I think they sent me two, one bundle of this will not be enough to cover your whole head. So that's definitely a con in my book because if you're trying to like sell a bundle of clip-ins, it needs to be enough to cover the whole head. And I'm pretty sure that this was two. I'm going to put it in the description box if I'm gonna hit them up and ask, was this two bundles you sent me or one? So you guys know if you need to purchase two or not. Actually might try to straighten this hair and see if I can straighten this because I feel like it would it would get like really really long and I think because this blended in so well I want to know if it'll blend in with my hair if I straighten my own hair and then try to put these clip-ins I think I might straighten these to see what I get y'all what you think if you want a video of me straightening this hair just put a comment below in the comment section and let me know what you think um, about me straightening this because I think it might be cute you know, and we're here for cute hairstyles. So just let me know down below. All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Facebook and my Pinterest. They're both at Bexy Beauty. And check out my Instagram, it's at Bexy underscore beauty. I love y'all so, so much. Almost as much as I'm loving my hair right now. But I love y'all a lot. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.